I might have missed when searching, but most videos on YouTube about Samsung new One UI 6 are about One UI on a phone, not on a tablet. A bit of a bummer if you ask me, cause I'm most interested of the tablet experience. So I decided to make my own walkthrough of One UI 6 on Galaxy tablets, well, sort of walkthrough anyway. Cheers from Sweden and welcome to my channel. I post videos about being productive on your Samsung devices, so if you enjoy this type of content, please subscribe for more. Samsung is pushing out the new One UI 6 to some of their phones and tablets. My S9 and my S8 Ultra just got the update, so if you have any of these tablet series, the S8 and S9 that is, Check if you can update your tablet to the latest version. The quick panel has been redesigned in One UI 6. It's a bit narrow compared to One UI 5, and I kind of like the new look. Notifications has also been redesigned. They are also a bit narrow compared to One UI 5, and well, I like the new look as well. You can, as in previous versions of One UI, customize the lock screen. You can change how the clock looks like, add a filter on the background image and some other things. Nothing I've given any deeper thoughts, cause I don't tend to look at the lock screen that much. I give him more thought about the home screen. Why? Well, this is actually something I look at quite a bit. To add apps to your home screen, just swipe up with one finger and long press on the app you'd like to add to the home screen. If you want to add widgets, then there are two ways to do this. Either you can long press on an app on the home screen and choose what widget to add. Or you can long press on the home screen again and then choose widgets. Then choose from the list of widgets. A must here is to install the app Goodlock from Samsung. With this app and the add-ons you can customize the home screen pretty much as much as you'd like. For instance, add more rows of the home screen grid or, or change the look of the icons. Nothing new in One UI 6, but you can under Settings, Display, Change Font Size and Adjust Screen Zoom. Some apps can utilize the more screen real estate you get when zooming out, so to say. I haven't heard that many mention modes and routines, which is a bit of a bummer cause you can do a fair amount of different tasks with this app. For instance, whenever I record my voice over in Cubases, I have a routine that disables notifications so I won't get disturbed. On my phone, I have a routine that whenever after sunset and the phone uses my Wi-Fi at home, then turn on the lamps. I don't use different modes that much, but you can find them here if you like to try the pre-made modes out and you can of course make your own mode as well. Samsung Reminder got a new look in One UI 6. I don't use Samsung Remind that much on my tablet, mainly because I normally use Microsoft To Do instead. But you can sync your reminders with to do, so that's nice. I use reminders more on my phone though.
there are now two different versions of Samsung DeX. The old classic version with the full external monitor support, just as before. More of a Windows-like interface. And then there are this new version that doesn't have full external monitor support. The new version is more of a mirroring of the internal screen, the tablet screen. Every app is open in the pop-up view. Kind of cool if it wasn't well for the lack of the external monitor thing. But if Samsung can fix that, this new DeX version can be really neat. I wish there was a Bixi routine to use that if an external monitor is connected then run the old version of DeX and if there is no external monitor connected well run the new version instead. Now you have to manually choose. Mm. Could be better. Well that's for now. I hope you found this somehow interesting and uh, if you have any questions, uh, well, you know, you can always ask me down in the comments. Until next time, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and have a lovely day. Bye.